Okay, I'm going to answer the question about a particular French pie tart dough called fine lining pastry, or also known in French as pâte à fond sur fin. Okay, now you see this word P-A-T-E, which looks like pâté, but it has different accents, and it's, it, it, it's pronounced pot. Uh, and what that means is paste. So like pasta, for example, in French would be referred to as pot something because it's a paste before the noodles are made out of it, okay? And there's a whole bunch of pots, a pot of choux, which is something we're making in this particular dessert class. Um, and that means paste. So don't get it confused with the word pate when you see the word, okay? It's very important. So now, when I first made this, I was, I was taught how to make this in a small French cooking school uh, on a table. I'm gonna make it in a bowl. I think it's a little bit cleaner but you could certainly make it on a table if you don't have the right size bowl. So the components for this are one pound of flour, one whole extra large egg, 10 ounces of whole soft unsalted butter, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of sugar, okay? So I'm gonna put the one pound of flour in the bowl. I'm gonna make a little well in the middle. Oh, excuse me, and a half a cup of warm water. And I'm going to break the single egg in the middle of the well. I'm going to take the 10 ounces of whole unsalted butter. You'll notice that 10 ounces of butter to one pound of flour. This is a buttery kind of dough, okay? Then I'm going to put the quarter teaspoon of salt and the teaspoon of sugar over the whole mixture there. And here I have, I want to continue to keep the well in the middle of this. I'm breaking that egg up there a little bit. Now I want to add the half a cup. I have a whole cup of warm water here. I'm going to add a half a cup to this. And I have a little bit of extra flour standing by in case the texture of this isn't what I consider to be perfect, okay? So this is a dough that needs to be made in advance of being rolled out. So it's made, wrapped up, and refrigerated. And then when it's cold, it's rolled out. Too much butter. You can't roll this particular recipe out with soft butter, you know? So we're going to start in the middle. I'm going to get the ingredients mixed together. And then we're going to pick slowly at the flour and slowly incorporate it into the mixture, okay? Once we have about a half to three quarters of it incorporated, then we'll just bring it all in and start getting it mixed up. There we go. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. This is just a teeny bit, teeny bit wet for me. We're going to form this into a ball here at some point. Okay, now... I got it into a ball. We're done with the bowl. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on this table here. Make sure this is nice and mixed. We don't want to see any of the ingredients in this dough. We want to make sure it's one solid thing so there's no pieces of butter or anything like that or little yellow spots of egg yolk. Teeny bit more flour there. Here, there you go. Doesn't really need, I needed it, I'm needing it here for a few minutes. Now, the next question you got to ask yourself, 
once you have the basic dough made, which we have now, is how are we going to use it? And you want to package it up based on how you're going to use it. If you're making a tart that's that big, you don't need this whole piece wrapped up in one piece. You want to cut the amount off you need for the tart so it's already cut and separated for the size that you're going to be rolling it, which you have to do. This is a rollable dough then, okay? So why don't we do this? Why don't we divide this in two, okay? And let's flatten this out. I'm going to make a round tart out of this, and I'm going to make a rectangular tart. So we're going to take one of these, and we're going to flatten it out so it's a little bit round. And then I'm going to plastic wrap it. You can certainly make this the day before. So the reason I'm flattening it out like this is because this way it's kind of ready to roll. If it's in a big ball, then i got to get it down because it's going to be cold and hard, and uh, it'll be more work. So I want to make it close to how I want to roll it now so it's easier when I get to it. Okay, so there's one. And this one I'm going to roll into a rectangle and put it into a rectangular tart pan, okay? So I'm going to lay it out as a rectangle now to get cold. It'll be easier to roll in the shape of the rectangle. So that's what I meant when I said, based on how you're going to use it, that's how you should store it. And if you don't know, then just leave it in one piece. You know? But I can't imagine making this dough and not knowing what I was going to do with it. Okay, so there are my two pieces of dough. And in this class, we're going to make something out of this dough. And I'll demonstrate for you on the, the final process. But for right now, this particular lesson is finished. This is how the pata fine or also known as the fine lining pastry dough or paste is made. What is it used for? Obvious question. This particular dough can be used for a number of different things like sweet tarts, quiche, you can make pate and fruit, you can use this as pastry wrapped around meat, fish, etc. That's not typically what it's used for. Typically it's used for sweet or savory tarts, okay, or little pies and things like that. So that's it. Pata Fonserfine. Keep this in your inventory. This is a really good dough.